he was the voice of Black Power at just 11 years old. The fictional character Michael Evans from the hit family sitcom Good Times was one of the earliest characters to showcase an educated black child or young black man. Played by Ralph David Carter, Michael Evans was the youngest of Florida and James Evans' three children. As the youngest, he often made sure to correct his family when they were socially wrong. However, acting was just one of Ralph Carter's many talents. He was also a great singer who released a few songs and was even a part of a musical group. Born on May 30th, 1961, Carter started his acting career at just 9 years old, starring in the musical The Me Nobody Knows. With a few more roles to come, he landed his breakout role as Travis Younger in Raisin. This helped him earn the 1973 Drama Desk Award for the Most Promising Performer and the 1973 Theatre Award Award. He was also nominated for a Tony for Best Supporting Actor. With success at the palm of his hand at such a young age, it's not hard to see why Norman Lear chose him to portray Michael Evans. Norman Lear ruled the 70s, and Good Times, which was a spin-off of the hit series Mod, added on to his success. Good Times showcased the everyday challenges black families face in poverty, from struggling to pay the bills to getting involved in the community. With Ralph Carter, aka Michael, as the brains of the family, the Evans went through a lot, but the love they had for one another always got them through. A year into his newest role, Carter released an album called Young and in Love, which was also a single he performed on the show. He got the chance to perform this single on Soul Train as well. The show went on for about five seasons, with ratings declining after the departure of John Amos, who played James Evans Sr. After the ending, Carter stayed out of the spotlight. He went back into theater and served as the vice president of the Audience Development Committee, which he currently still does. He married his longtime girlfriend, Lisa, in 1987, but they divorced in 1992. Two years later, he met River York on December 2nd, and they got married 18 days later. He has five children, Michael and James, with his first wife, and Phoenix, Jessica, and Vivica, with his second. To the world, he'll always be known as Michael Evans, and Carter seems to be fine with that. During a celebration remembering good times, he stated, I was fortunate to be in the explosion, not only of the African-American theater in the 1970s, but into that wave of consciousness and beautiful television productions that featured African-American artists. I'm very grateful for the people who taught me along the way. He currently resides in New York with his wife and children and has no social media.